Welcome back to this build series on the Scuderia Blendline channel. I am calling this car the Peugeot, aka the 206 WRX. We have a Peugeot 206 body shell planted on the top of a Subaru Impreza, the WRX floor pan and engine bay. We have the radiator mounted in the boot to allow enough space for the EJ20 engine, which is mounted in a Peugeot sized engine bay. Today I'm going to look at the original arch liners that came off the Subaru and see if I can utilize them on this GRP body kit that I've made. I think they can be used along with some more material to bring out the arch protection right to the outside of the wheel arch. Ultimately, I won't know how much clearance I need until I have the suspension brakes and wheels on the car. And also I need the wing fixed in place. I need to bolt the doors on before I fix the wing on. Before I get the doors on, I wanna finish off a few things with the electrics back here. So I'll take the covers off and I'll address these first. The first thing I'm going to do is fit this fuel controller to the battery cover. As the plug can be disconnected and reconnected, I can just fix it to the cover and leave it on. I have the cover for the fuse holder, which I will install. I also have the rubber boots that go over the terminals on the fuel pump. I'm just changing the route of the power to the water pump to tack it in a little neater with a wiring loom that goes to the boot. Whilst I had good daylight, I took the exhaust outside and gave it a good clean up. I also did the same with the rear drive shafts and hubs. I've cleaned up the fronts too, but I still need to take the brakes apart, so there's more cleaning to do. I've also taken the doors outside to burn the dust off, ready for those to go on the car. In order to save some weight, I'm going to reduce the length of the earth cable that goes onto the battery. I can also remove the second earth, which is no longer necessary. Next I need to seal off the holes in the front of the door panel.
I am just getting the exhaust ready to go back on the car. I've put the guard back on the carrier. I have refitted the heat shield that protects the fuel tank from the exhaust pipe. And I have just put some heat deflector material on the area where the back box sits really close to the radiator housing. That should hopefully help keep the coolant temperatures low. Last night I got the drive shaft and herb on the offside and also on the near side. Now I'll do the same for the front. Next I'm going to take the front brake calipers off. They've been on so long they are completely seized, so I need to free them up again. As I was cleaning up the exhaust system, I've noticed another crack. Ali told me to drill a hole at the end of the crack to stop it going any further. I'll do this and I'll check the other welds I've already done. Next, I'm going to get the downpipe bolted onto the car. Next, I'll get the centre section on. Overall, they didn't look too bad. When I bought the car, they weren't seized. None of the brakes were binding. So a bit of a clean up, and they should be good to go back on the car. I've noticed on the driver's side, one of the retaining pins is broken. I can replace it like for like, or I can use an R-clip if I want to. You see part of the pad is actually chipped off there. So maybe a slight upgrade on the pads is in order. Rubber seals on the pistons look in good condition for its age. I'm just going to measure the pads so I make sure I order the right ones. Next I'll give this a bit of a clean up before I get the disc back on the car. Now I've just got to do exactly the same on the driver's side.
can see this is broken. Someone's put a split pin in there, which will do the same job. That's both the front brakes freed up. I just need to order some pads. That's it for this episode. Thanks again for watching. Any questions you have about the build, leave them in the comment section. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and I'll see you very soon.